Okay, so let me go ahead and show you guys something. So basically, when you open up this bag right here, I hope you guys can hear me. I really hope you do because this video is going up. But when you open up this bag, you're gonna see something similar to this. So this right here, that big clipper, that's the one you're gonna use to cut your hair. And then those right there are the guards that you use. Now for those of you who aren't aware of how that works, basically that guard prevents you from cutting your hair bald. Okay, so when you put that guard on, your hair should hypothetically be even. Now one thing you wanna make sure you do is you wanna make sure you wash your hair really well prior to cutting it. You should also wash it afterward, but especially before. Otherwise your cut is not going to come out even. Okay, whether you're going to a barber, cutting your own hair, whatever, make sure you wash your hair before your cut. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up right there. I have my big clippers right here, as you guys can see. And you can do a closed blade or an open blade. Closed blade, open blade. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, the closed blade gives you a closer cut. But I could be wrong about that. I don't know, I'm not a barber. <laughs> I did not go to barber school, I don't know. We're just guessing here, we're playing the guessing game, but Basically, I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to open up my clipper set. I'm going to grab my one guard right here. It's gonna have the number one on it, okay? The one guard. And then I'm going to put this on. Now, you can only really put it on when the blades are closed. So close the blade first. And also, you might wanna oil the blades as well. You just drop a few drops of oil right here on the blade when it's open and then you close it. And then you just kinda of do that a few times to let it marinate or saturate the clippers. But after you do that, you're gonna go ahead and put that one guard on, just like this, and you're gonna push this, boom. All right, now after that, you turn it on, and you get straight to it. Now you're basically gonna go against the grain. Now what does that mean? Against the grain, means that you're going against the natural flow of your hair. So typically on the top of your head, your hair goes forward. If not, maybe a little sideways. You're gonna go against the natural flow of your hair. Same with the sides and the back of your head. Now this is the part right here where I'm playing the guessing game because I don't know what the hell is going on in the back of my head. I'm just going by feel at this point. Now, just a little side note, but I don't know if you guys can see the crown of my head, right in this area right here. The crown of your head will typically have multiple different directions. It will have multiple directions, so when you're going against the grain, you're really going toward the crown of your head. No matter where you're at, you're going toward the crown. So you guys, this is not rocket science. This is not rocket science. This is very, very simple. If I can do this, believe me when I tell you that you can do this as well. Believe me when I tell you, I do not have steady hands by any means. When you put that guard on, you literally cannot mess your hair up. It's impossible. You won't have any bald spots, you won't have any anything, bro. You put that guard on and you just go to work. Now as far as doing edge ups, fades, any of that, that is beyond my realm of expertise. So do not ask me any questions related to those things because there is no advice I could give you that will prevent you from fucking your head up. Just really try to hit these blind spots, man. Make sure you get behind your ears. That's an area that I skipped the first couple of times and it definitely shows. And there's nothing worse than putting all of your equipment away and then having to get it back out because you missed a spot. And I need you guys to understand something. The level of spiritual freedom, hold on, let me bring you guys closer. The level of spiritual freedom that is necessary for you to cut your own hair in public like this this is probably one of the greatest confidence exercises that there is because once you've done this the notion of embarrassment pretty much goes out the window it disappears it's now a foreign concept to you but i digress go ahead and finish this haircut something that i do have is i have a little paintbrush right here and i basically use this to clear the clippers off you also want to try to make sure you use that brush to brush the hair off your neck because that's a very, very good way to irritate your skin, at least in my experience. So you're gonna brush it off your neck, your face, all of that, forehead. And 
Now let me go ahead and grab my second mirror and assess the job that I've done. See, I have my other little handheld mirror here. So now, let's see what we got. Okay, so there's a few little spots that I didn't really hit all the way. Like I said, right around that crown area, that's an area that's kind of easy to overlook. And then also kind of behind the ears, the back of the head. It's also important to understand that even if your hair doesn't necessarily look even, that doesn't mean that it's not even. When you put this guard on, your hair is going to be even. As long as your hair is clean, it's going to be even. But sometimes the density of your hair is different in certain parts of your head. So for example, if the back of your head and the top of your head look different, maybe the top of your head looks lighter, it may not be because it's shorter, it might just be because it's less dense. So personally, I just kind of roll with that. I don't really try to compensate for that because I don't want to fuck my head up. That's just me personally though. To each their own, you do you. But you do with the information what you will. I also wanna make sure that you get the sideburns. Go ahead and grab my mirror before I, before I fuck my head up, bro. Now, a little pro tip for you guys, and I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second, but a little pro tip is to cut your hair as frequently as possible. Like I said, I go for once a week, and my hair grows pretty fast. So if your hair grows pretty slow, maybe once every other week or once a month, but the reason why I do it that way is because I wanna be courteous to wherever I'm cutting my hair. Because if I'm cutting my hair, that means that there's a potential that somebody might have to clean it up. And if I'm cutting a bunch of hair, then that's gonna suck for them. It might ruin their fucking day. But with this right here, as you guys can see, there's not much hair at all. Okay, I didn't really cut that much off the top of my head because there wasn't that much hair to begin with. So that's why I try to cut my hair as frequently as possible. And I also just like the feeling of having shorter hair, having a buzz cut. I feel like once you experience a buzz cut for the first time, you never really go back. That's just my personal take, that's my two cents which I am now keeping because I'm not giving it to the barber. Also, another little trick of the trade is you wanna make sure that you are brushing your hair mid-cut because that will remove a lot of the hair which you might have already cut, but it's still on your head. And that will give you a better sense of how dense your hair actually is in that spot. Because sometimes your hair could look darker than it actually is because there's so much dead hair right there. Okay, I think I did a pretty good job. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the benefit of this camera to record all around my head and really see for myself just how well I did and see if there's any spots that I need to touch up. But that's pretty much the essence of it, man. It's just a pretty straightforward cut. You put the guard on and there's not really much you can do to mess your hair up. When you start trying to edge it up, when you start trying to fade it, do tapers, all of that, that's when shit can hit the fan very quickly. But like I said, me personally, I'm not doing any of that. So before I do that, let me go ahead and take my shirt off and just shake it off, okay? Little physique check as well. But I'm gonna take my shirt off and just... And also, I just wanna note that just now, this car came up here. I'm at the top level of this parking garage. This car came up here, and for a brief second, I felt obviously a little uneasy because it looks really fucking sketchy for you to be cutting your hair in a parking garage but that car turned around with the quickness. And one thing that I've realized is that when you just genuinely don't care what other people think, oftentimes they'll leave you the fuck alone, right? Because me personally, I mean, you guys know that I'm a very nice person. I'm not a confrontational or combative person, but if I were going to choose somebody to mess with, I would not choose the person who's cutting their hair in a parking garage. That's just me though. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I wouldn't do that. So just, Take my shirt off. I'm gonna grab my little paintbrush right here and brush myself off really well. No alcohol should be necessary because you're not doing a skin razor. You're just doing a one, no edge up or anything like that. Usually the alcohol is only necessary if you're doing an edge up or if you're doing some type of fade, especially a bald fade. But since we're not doing that, we don't have to worry about that. That's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm just gonna use the camera and see if I have any spots that I need to touch up, but you guys get the gist of it.